Heyo everybody, welcome back to Tavian's World of Reptiles. I hope you are all doing well and taking care of yourselves. It is another hot day here in Oregon, so I do have my air conditioner on because um, as soon as I turn it off, I immediately start sweating. Um, so I just have that back on. Um, and so hopefully it's not bothering you guys too much sound-wise. I did try to test it out with a short little video before this. It didn't sound too bad, so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad to you guys either. So, that being said, I am hanging out with Zuko today. This is my Doom Rose Boa. I'm not sure if he's coming through, but he looks awesome. And I have him out today because I want to talk about uh, drop feeding uh, snakes. And Zuko here is one of my snakes that I have to drop feed with. Um, and I say have to because um, it's not necessarily a requirement, but there are some snakes who just prefer it. And I know that some people, you know, maybe new people who are just getting into snakes might have a snake that isn't eating. Now, that's kind of like what happened with this guy when I got him. I found him on Craigslist. Uh, his previous owner was saying that they could not get him to eat, like at all. And uh, I was like, all right, well, I will take him. And I did. And I let him settle in for a while and just chill out for a couple of weeks before I tried to feed him. Now, I feed most of my snakes with tongs. And uh, when I went to feed this guy, he would not take the rat. He would not eat it. Um, and so instead of just being like, well, he's not eating still, um, I I left the rat and he ate and that's how he prefers to eat. He's eaten every meal that I almost every meal that I have ever provided for him. Um, he's probably denied one meal um, and I don't I don't know but he was too, probably just going into shed so he just wasn't even in the mood uh, but for the most part he uh, he eats but he is not a snake that likes to we watch while he eats and that's just something that I had to learn about him. Uh, he prefers for me to just drop the rat and leave and he always eats it. Now my uh, blood python Rafiki is another one of my snakes who just prefers me to drop my meal, uh, his meal and leave it. Um, he has taken the rat from me uh, on tongs maybe twice, uh, but pre preferably he just likes me to actually just drop the rat and leave. And Rafiki has never taken the rat off the tongs from me, and so he also prefers for me to just leave the rat and uh, leave it and just leave him alone. Uh, and some snakes just prefer to eat like that. It doesn't mean anything, it doesn't have anything to do with you as a keeper, it's just that particular snake's preference. Now, there are also general benefits to just drop feeding your snakes in general, especially larger species of snakes, because we know that snakes can have some pretty uh, crazy feeding responses, especially when they get big. And when the bigger snakes like strikes and takes a rat, it can be like a little shocking. It can make you jump. Um, if they miss, it could cause them to hurt themselves because uh, like, they strike hard and they strike fast and they're big. And so it can be a little unnerving to feed larger snakes. And so Drop feeding is a good method when it comes to larger snakes because you can not only curb that like strong feeding response, which puts yourself and your snake uh, in a little bit of a harmful situation if it's not, you know, taken into consideration that feeding response. So if you have a snake that has a super strong feeding response, drop feeding is really beneficial because you can teach your snake that when the door is open, it's not necessarily time to strike, which, you know, puts you in danger and puts your snakes at risk of hurting themselves. But they can learn that they can go and go to a very specific spot in their enclosure and find that meal that you just kind of place in there, close the door and walk away. Um, and it just kind of gets them into the mindset of like, oh, the food's not going to be coming from this large source that's holding it that I have to strike at. It's going to be placed and set and I can just go and hunt and get it. And so it, it's, it's beneficial to keep you safe. It's beneficial to keep your snake from harming themselves. But it also helps give your snake a little bit of enrichment because that means they have to take time to kind of hunt their food a little bit more. So it gives them the ability to hunt their food without having to have a live rodent, which can also be a bit of a danger sometimes, you know, from people who are just like, oh, I want to feed live because I don't want to risk my snake getting injured and having to do vets. You know, and then this is not bashing people who do live feeding. You know, some snakes require live feeding. Some people just prefer to do live feeding um, for various different reasons. So this is not bashing on live feeders. Um, but there are people who like to be able to give their snake the sense of enrichment of hunting down their food without having to leave a live rodent in there. And drop feeding can give that to them because they'll sense the rat in the present, in the place, and then they will go and they 
will find that rat and they will eat it. Um, and so drop feeding can be super beneficial in very different ways. Um, and you know, sometimes your snakes require it, like Zuko here, like Rafiki, my blood python. And some snakes, you just are going to, you might want to just do it in general. Um, I know start that. drop feeding Artemis personally because she is a very large snake. And with how I have her enclosure set up, it can be, uh, pretty pretty uh, pretty messy uh, it can be it can become really like hectic when i'm trying to feed her with all of her stuff in her enclosure and she's got to come out of this like small hide and kind of like throw everything out of balance because she strikes and everything you know she her whole body goes into it she strikes she coils lifts up her hide knocks over her sticks and it can be really hectic and so i'm thinking i'm going to start um drop feeding for her and it may very well have had something to do with how her mouth got messed up so i'm probably going to start drop feeding her because she is a very large snake. Uh, she strikes hard. She strikes wild. She curls up wild, and it, just, it can just is a mess. So I'm for her health, and to, uh, just in general, I want to probably just start drop feeding for her because she is a large snake. And um, I have a retic, as you guys have seen, Ar uh, Artemis, um, Antiope. She's still reasonably small, but she's obviously going to get very large. And so I might start practicing and getting her into the mindset of drop feeding also because she already has a pretty good strong feeding response to the older she's gotten um, and so I just know that the bigger she gets the more that feeding response is going to grow and so I want to go ahead and do what I can to curb the dangers of feeding a very large snake with a very strong feeding response which is what drop feeding offers so if you're looking for a way of having a you know kind of a, a smoother less stressful feeding experience with your snake drop feeding is something that you might want to look into um, and of course there's also tap training and all those other ways of making feeding a lot less stressful for you and for your snake and drop feeding is one of them and so I felt like I would just go ahead and have a conversation about that because I was just looking at Zuko here and thinking about his feeding and how I have to feed him and uh, Rafiki as opposed to all the rest of my snakes who I usually just feed with tongs so I don't want to keep rambling there's not much more to say on the fact it's just drop feeding can be beneficial sometimes drop feeding is a requirement so if you have a snake who might not be eating because or from the tongs I suggest trying to leave the, snake, the rat in there and leave, allow your snake to have some privacy and see if your snake eats so that's it everybody you guys take care love yourselves love your reptile and love your loved ones and you guys keep spreading those herbs